Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are wrapping up our second week of the spring semester. Although spring hardly describes what it feels like outside, uh, one advantage of our remote status is indeed the very fact that weather does not interfere with most of our classes. Uh, that's been a disappointment to my son. We can talk about that another time. Uh, but I need to let you know that uh, our semester started off well, and I'm very I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing this happening in classrooms and support services all across the institution. Despite the cold, several things have really warmed my heart this week. Uh, the care that I see people taking to make connections in their classrooms, it really inspires me. I, I realize it takes a lot of extra time and a lot of energy, but I hear of so many creative ways that people are reaching out through Zoom and through text to make those connections with our students that matter so that we can really see student success flourish. It's not just our students, though. Uh, employees are supporting one another in ways that really help us get the, to the next chapter of this journey. And I want to thank you. Uh, I love hearing these stories. And our new gratitude board hosted by Elite is just one great way to record them. Uh, did you know that you can post one yourself? I encourage you all to do that. Uh, gratitude is just one of the most tremendous feelings in the world. And this idea of expressing uh, your appreciation and gratitude to someone is just it's just a great thing to do. So I would encourage you, you can pull it up at MC Gratitude Board, and I would encourage you to be actively engaged on that. Now, some more other good news that we also see this very creative. Our student affairs area hosted a very successful pop-up pantry this week, helping to fill the gaps left by the reduction of our mobile market schedule. Now, I've told that we have 56 packages picked up, and there was also a special distribution of fresh produce from Hungry Harvest for international students and parenting students. A COVID has really put a focus on basic needs and security in some new ways. And I know that it's going uh, so important for us that we continue to serve our students this way. Now, the library has also had some terrific new resources that are available virtually, which is another way that we're filling our remote status with new learning and exploration. Now, I saw one user post about being able to travel the world on her couch through the MC Learning Portals. Now, that I think is a great perspective and something we probably wouldn't have had to appreciate it if we didn't really live through this COVID experience. I'm so impressed with the sophistication that our faculty and staff are bringing to their online interactions with students. Uh, we didn't have all these technology strengths at the start of the pandemic, but we've all grown in ways that are truly empowering. It's almost like we developed some new muscles and some stronger muscles in areas that we really needed to cultivate for our institution. Now, speaking of, uh, there's still a lot of activity going on behind the scenes at the college as we wait to hear about the new federal funding that might be provided uh, very soon to students. The details are still being worked out as the Department of Education turns over leadership, but I sense that the new administration's attention to equity will sync with the college's values. Uh, students who don't have a FAFSA on file might be well served to go ahead and fill out one now, that being our free application for federal student aid, which can be accessed on our website. Now, one final reminder. Uh, the good news we're all hearing about the COVID-19 vaccines can be a little distracting. Please, please, please don't let your guards down. Uh, there are vaccines that are coming, yes, but the distribution is slow and there's some very contagious new variants in our midst. As you heard from our county health officer, Travis Gales, there is a risk to relaxing too much. So let's just hold on to each other and hold on to some high standards about this. Continue to wear your mask. Make sure that you practice social distancing. Wash your hands frequently. There is light at the end of the tunnel, but we all want to get there healthy and it requires each of us to be an active supporter of each other. In the meantime, I hope that you say stay, stay safe and stay warm. And I'll see you next week. Take care and be well.